Hi there, my name is Jesse, and I've got some good news for you. Optifine finally released for Minecraft 1.12, which means we can use shaders. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, here you can see my desktop. Uh, you can see I've already downloaded Optifine and Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, which is the shader pack we'll be using. I got both of these from Minecraft Forum, uh, the safest place to get them. Uh, you, there, you won't get any viruses there. That's where the developers actually put them. So uh, you will have to disable your ad blocker if you have one to get through the ad fly links, but that also makes sure that the developers get paid. I wouldn't get these anywhere else because you'll probably get a virus. And if you don't get a virus, then you're going to be going through someone else's ad fly links and paying somebody else for the hard work of the developers of Optifine and Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. So uh, that said, we're going to go ahead and double click Optifine. And you'll see that it's going to look for my Minecraft folder, and it's an app data roaming Minecraft, so that's the right one. We're going to hit install. And hey, Optifine successfully installed. All right, so uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a folder inside the Minecraft install directory. Uh, the easiest way to get there is to type percent app data and percent again in the address bar of Explorer and just hit enter. And hey, there's Minecraft. Inside the Minecraft directory, we're going to create a folder called shader packs. All one word, all lowercase, plural, just like that. Open it up, and that's where we're going to drop this Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders folder. Now, I've also got this uh, text file. I've set this up before on my computer, so uh, when I do that and I go through and make all my settings, uh, the shader will actually keep track of what my settings are and it'll create that text file. So I'm going to drop that in here and all my settings are going to be there when I start it up. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to start it up. And here you can see that it added an Optifine version right here. So we're going to go to Launch Options. We're going to click on Optifine. We're going to do some modification here. Under JVM Arguments, you can see it's set for one gig right here. I'm using a texture pack, about a 128. If you're using anything larger than like a 32 or a 64, you're probably going to want to up this uh, to something higher. Uh, I'm going to set it to eight gigs because I've got plenty of RAM on my machine to uh, to spare. But if your eight, if your machine has eight gigs or lower, you want to do maybe 75% of your system RAM. So like if you have eight gigs, you want to do six. Um, if you have four gigs, you want to do three. You got to leave some RAM for your uh, operating system. And then I'm also just going to set the resolution to 1080p. That's just the size of the opening window when you first open the game. All right, save. Go back to the main screen and select Optifine. All right, and here you can see I'm using the Chroma Hills texture pack. Uh, I think it's one of the best looking ones I've ever seen. Uh, looks really good to me. Um, it's also got normal maps and uh, specular maps, which work with the shaders. So you get like bump mapping or parallax occlusion mapping or uh, specular shine on objects. Uh, I'll go over that when we get into the menu, but we're just going to open up this uh, shader test single player world I made. And here you can see the shaders are running. Getting a, an okay frame rate, not really. It's about 23 frames per second, but it looks really good. I'm running at 4K right now, so that's probably why it's uh, a little bit lower. Let's go into the menu and take a look. So video settings, you can see where we have Optifine, Optifine installed. And then you have the shader button right here, shaders. And here you can select from any of the shader packs that you've put in that folder. I've only got Seuss in there, so that's all there is to see there. Uh, over here, uh, you can turn on anti-aliasing. I'm actually doing that through my graphics driver, so there's that'll if I disabled that, I'd probably get some more frames per second. Normal maps. So normal maps are what uh, supply the data for either bump mapping or parallax occlusion mapping. Personally, I don't like parallax occlusion, occlusion mapping, so uh, I have that turned off in the shader menu, which is down here. I'll go over that in a minute. But if you want no bump mapping or no parallax occlusion mapping, you can turn it off right here. The specular map button here, uh, honestly, every time I've tried to turn it off with this version of Optifine, it crashed Minecraft, so I'm not even going to touch it. Render quality is uh, basically you can multiply how like what your resolution is. So I could drop or turn it up to something crazy high, like 
two X. And so now that's rendering at like 8K. You can see that my frame rate is down to like seven. But I can also drop it down to half, which would be about 1080p. And so I'll see some pixelation, but you can see I've, I'm running at almost 60 frames per second now. And I can go somewhere in between to one point or 0 0.07 or 0 0.7 and then back up to one. I'll leave it there. Shadow quality is something that will definitely tank your frame rate if you turn it up. Uh, if you're having is uh, issues with frame rate, you can try turning it down to 0 0.5 and you'll probably recover some frames there. Um, we'll turn it to one for now. And then shader options. This is where you get into the nitty gritty of Sonic Ether shaders. I'm not sure that all shader packs have this available. So we'll take a look at atmospheric options. Uh, volumetric clouds is one. Uh, those are the big fluffy clouds. If I turn those off, they'll be 2D clouds, which still look really nice, but we'll definitely get some frames back. Uh, crepuscular or crepuscular rays. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, I always say crepuscular. Those are god rays. Uh, you know, light shining through a window. You'll see the rays of light coming through. Um, so those, those are some atmospheric options. Lighting and shadow options. Shadow distance. That's about how, that's how far, how many blocks out the shadows are rendering. Um, vari variable penumbra shadows, which means the farther away the object is that is casting the shadow, the softer the shadow is going to look. That eats up quite a few frames, so I think if we turn that off and hit done, we'll probably get quite a few frames back. Yeah, maybe not. Must have really optimized that. I'm going to turn it back on. There's some other things you can uh, modify in there. Surface options, this is where you can turn parallax occlusion mapping on or off. If you have normal maps on and parallax occlusion mapping off, then you're just going to get regular bump mapping, which personally I think looks much better in Minecraft than the parallax occlusion mapping. Uh, texture resolution. If you you want to make sure that this matches whatever your tex texture pack is. So if you're on default, the default texture pack in Minecraft, you want to set it down to 8. Uh, if you're running at 128 texture pack, you set it to 128. If it's 64, you set it to 64. Uh, water caustics, you can see these little light rays down there shining on the bottom of the uh, the lake or ocean right there. That's called caustics. And then the water parallax is what makes the water look wavy on top. Uh, so it looks really good. And anything else? Uh, global illumination, that's like when you're shining, you can see that the block here is kind of lit up green because it's being illuminated by this right here, this area that's being lit up by the sun. It's going to reflect that light color up onto this, this side here in the shadow. That's what uh, global illumination does. Uh, you can mess with some of the things here, uh, but you'll probably get some pretty goofy looking artifacts if you mess with it too much. So I'm just going to leave it set. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's about all there is to it. Run around, take a look. You can see we've got the, we've got the bump mapping there. I'm going to set the time. There we go. Get some more crazy looking shadows. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? That water. Pretty. Those clouds look awesome. Hurts my frame rate, but man, is it pretty. Okay, so uh, that's all there is to it. You have now installed shaders. Enjoy.